Connecticut is all just for show. Just smile and nod along. It's probably the most appropriate if Eula is talking when we start this, isn't it? <laughs> Seems like it to me. Eula, so, no one cares about aristocratic etiquette. We really don't, Eula. She does. Just, just shut up. <laughs> she cares an awful lot, although she doesn't pay it any mind, she says, but... So this is Genshin Impact. Most of you are probably familiar with this game on the off chance that you're not. I don't know what rock you've been underneath, but it's kind of like the anime Breath of the Wild gotcha style revolution. And we decided to do this as a bit of a different video because why the hell not? I've been saving up for about three and a half months to pull on this particular banner so you can all watch me either revel or suffer. And then Jason's going to pull a bit as well. He's here. Michaela's here. And a newcomer, Kate, is here. We're going to do some gameplay. We're going to do a little bit of everything. But we're starting off here in my world because Jason says that it's supposed to be lucky to pull from a place that is like pretty or just vibes with you. Vibes are important. Everyone knows this. Yes. I don't know this because I've been free to play almost exclusively until I finally caved and got like one Welkin Moon. So I've now paid like $10 for this game or something. Because um, I have that and a Gnostic hymn. Some some people like to pull from like the little hands on the statue in Mondstadt, or they'll pick a spot that's like important to the character they're pulling for. You know, everyone's got their own their own vibes. You know mm -hmm. that they like to do. All right, I'm doxing myself because my user ID is on the screen, so now everybody can you know flood me with flood, uh, uh, friend, friend requests. Friend request. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, the the six people that watch the video are probably not going to. And if you want to actually friend up, fine. I have like three. Um, go for it, but. We're going in because the thing that my team is missing is probably Raiden Shogun. I have an entire set of artifacts for her. I've been waiting for this moment. I already have 31 pity built up and conveniently enough, 31 of the fates saved up and a ton of Prima gems, as you can see in the top right corner. So we're going to start pulling and we're going to see what happens. We're going to get 10 to get up in the 70s and we're going to go one by one and hope to hit the pity timer and we're going to hope to win the 50-50. If we lose the 50-50, then she'll be guaranteed after 90 more pulls, and then it's going to be gross. For those who are familiar with the game, you know all about this. If you haven't, just know that this is why when I reviewed this on the show, I couldn't give it a wholehearted endorsement. It is a little whaley. There's no two ways about it. That's correct. It's, it's a game you can definitely play without whaling, but you're at some point you will be tempted. There's no way around that because mm -hmm. you're going to see these super cool characters. Um, and, you know, if you're super frugal, and you save up all your primo gems that you get in the game, and you only spend them on like, oh, that one character that comes up. Then, like, sure, you don't technically have to spend money, but uh, the temptation will be there. Case in point real. here, by the way. <laughs> no, no. This is six months of saving, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So we're gonna start pulling. We're gonna see what happens. I push the button. Here I'm not go. gonna skip. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We'll right. be able to see gold when it comes up. If it ever comes up, it has to once. <laughs> and we're going to skip the real, anything. The real question is, have you looked at, okay, you got a Benny. Okay, so this is, this is, this is something we should, we should look at. So what, what are you aiming for for your four stars here? Nothing. I don't care about them. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. Uh, last it is. I, we talked about that with the Miko's banner, which I pulled a couple of times on knowing that the pity timer would still increase if I missed. I was hoping to maybe get Fischl out of it because she's definitely still going to be around either the last spot on my A team or my B team prominently. I don't care about any of these three. I mean, I guess I might invest a little more in Kujo Sarah, but again, this is going to give me two already strong electric users. I don't really need any more. So probably nothing. I hope I don't have any hopes or dreams, which is good. I can only care about Raiden and that's it. Yeah, Kujo Sarah would be as good for, for Raiden. Honestly, Benny is as well, but... Because, like, Lightning Archer, already got that covered. I, already, I have that covered. And she's probably slightly better than Fischl, but for my team composition, that may not even be true. It has to do with her ability to buff Electro. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, if I wanted to go with all three of them in a team, which is certainly viable, then that could be a possibility. But instead, we're going to... Oh, a double four-star. Ooh, a triple oh four-star. Oh, God. <laughs> Ooh. We got a Favonia Spear out of that. All right. Blowing all my luck on dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent start. <laughs> okay, so this is 61 now. Oh yes. Okay. Eula, stop talking about teaching us Ooh. things. Now, a sucrose is a sucrose is always good. Um, her ability to like share uh, elemental mastery with like certain artifacts and pull enemies together and stuff. Uh, <laughs> always solid. There she is. And there she be. Her name is Sugar. I can't use her. Next. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, 71. If that's fine, this is the route that we're going to have to go. And then after this, we may start single pulling. There's complicated math behind it. Jason and I were talking about it even just before we went live, so... <laughs> hey, more Kudra Sara is phenomenal for this. Of the three, I guess she's the one I'd want the most. So yes. this is this is decent so far as far as the four stars go, but I don't really need any of them, so it's whatever. <laughs> All right, it's going to get a little more boring from here because we're switching to single pulls. And, God, I can probably go into the shop and buy, like, 19 of these in advance and stop this from happening, right? <laughs> Uh, you absolutely could if you wanted to. So I can go... God, I have never done this. Uh, <laughs> you just... go to Paimon's Bargains. And then over to the then, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we're going to buy 19 of these to stop this message from popping up. Holy Jesus, 119 in the reserve? Yeah. Damn. I have a lot saved up. I can't technically do another full 90 pulls if it comes to it. We'll cross that road if we get there. <laughs> I did want to go do... Let's see. This. I can buy two more of these as well. Okay. So I technically could have bought 17. Whatever, I'm expecting and, to need all of them. And uh, <laughs> once you hit, um, I'm sure you have never done this before, once you hit C6 on one of these four stars here, so like yeah. if you keep pulling Kudrosaras and you max out her constellations, then every time that you pull her, they will give you five of the like special, the, the ones that you have 15 of, and five of those is worth a wish. Yeah. So it's not a wasted wish. Okay, so you, you that's nice. Back. That yeah. is nice. I mean, this game is predatory enough. If I'm being honest, so it's nice that there's at least a few back then things that'll help. <laughs> All right, one by one. Can I skip at it before we get to this point? No. You, can, to... you can, in fact, skip it, yes. Okay, so if I hit like X, it'll pop up the prompt in the top right? I, th I think that's what it is. All right, so 72. This is 73. Oh, there you go. There you yeah, go. so as soon as it's it. not, which it's not, yeah. So I can skip it before it makes it to that point. Okay, I can do that. 74. So it would turn like right there. So I know there it's not. Yeah, okay. I'll get better at this, I promise. <laughs> You'll have lots of practice. That one I just knew in my heart. <laughs> so that's 76. I think, we're all, I think we're all secretly hoping for some more debate clubs. I don't know about you. <laughs> I don't remember what number that was. Uh, I've already lost count. I'm sorry. I have failed you. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. doesn't matter. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> this <laughs> is something. The, this is what you're 70. So like you barely are even in the soft pity and you pull the gene who you use. And I, that puts you one step closer to her C2, which increases. Because uh, so like that's going to be this. Like, which is not bad. Um, her C2 is the biggest one because it increases the attacks, attack speed. Yeah. Movement and attack speed. But that puts you one step closer, and these are some of the hardest characters to get constellations for. And, you know, if I'm pulling off the regular banner still, which I do when that fills up, I might hit her again at some point when I'm pulling for, you know, Keshing or whoever. Mm -hmm. All right, well, doesn't matter what number it was. You hit it kind of early, so, like, that's not terrible. It could be worse. We're hoping to win the first 50-50 because you... now, I mean, if we're looking at the math... 1600 so i have enough you do you do because you hit you hit it before you hit uh, i actually think i had enough even if i didn't because i would have pulled yeah because i had 1600 prima gems so even if i'd gone the distance on the fates i had i would still have another 100 pulls so i actually had saved up enough anyways but so that's good all right we're going to tensies again starting from yep. zero <laughs> we're going to stream this no matter what the outcome is we're not going to hide it it could be terrible Maybe she'll come in one of the earlier batches. I don't know. It's possible. At it least we know the next five stars is her, right? I'm not tripping on that, yeah? Correct. The next one will be her. Okay. All right. Then, eh. Random boy. <laughs> and yeah, if we're... anyone is sitting, is sitting at home and they're thinking, oh, that Benny guy looks pretty cool, uh, just be aware that uh, if you C6 him, uh, it can ruin some teams that you may want to use him on. Mm -hmm. Which uh, is awfully weird. It's very weird that they would have a C6, like, completely change how the character functions. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm, that's the number one reason people would like to be able to turn off talents. Uh, those of you that are like, what the heck are they talking about? Nor he gives a big uh, buff to, like, attack power. Yeah, he's used in a lot of teams, but if you get his final, like, constellation, then it turns their physical damage to fire damage, and that ruins a lot of potential team comps that don't care about fire damage. Yeah. It is sort of fitting that he ends up being kind of a screw-up in the end. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that is his vibe. 
and this is fun. <laughs> so from a like a plot standpoint, that works. It's unfortunate that they don't actually just fix his for people who really want to use him. True. But then again, I'm still waiting for amber buffs, so you know, I guess I shouldn't hold my breath. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. What is that? Five of her now. Oh, of the Cujo Sarah. <laughs> so you're, yeah, you're getting up there. Yeah. 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 Hmm. By the way, because we're in my co-op world now, she'll, she's going to keep talking. Yula's going to keep Yula's interjecting. Yula's going to be non-stop yeah. the whole time. Because <laughs> you can't pause and stop that. So there's that. All right, I've lost count again. <laughs> I don't know what's <laughs> fine. I think this is six. I, we'll, we'll double check after the next one. I could do some reverse math. So this is them showing me that, oh, no, she's having to be first. Okay. She was just first, yeah. All right. And Zinyan, whose voice is terrible. Her voice yep. is literally so awful. <laughs> I wonder how many people would use her if they just changed the voice actress. Or just the accent that they had the voice actress do, honestly. Like, yeah. The direction. I think I should have go into details and look. I don't... It's. I have an idea. God damn it. I have an idea where it's at, but I would like to start single pulling when we get close. Yeah. Yeah. I feel the same way about Jean Ling. I've started using her oh, on my other it, account. You've done it too much, I think. You've done it too I much. I thought like they you, didn't like. Yeah, they don't have the history for like half an hour or something. Yeah, it'll oh. take a little bit. Uh oh. <laughs> so here's the thing, though. Oh, dear. You can, you can, I mean, you could safely, I think, ten pull. Well, I can do one more for sure. I'm trying to reverse math. So we had just over 16k in prima gems, and we had 13 or 14 fates. So 6400 would be four pulls. So that means we've pulled six out of the gems. And then one out of the fates, I think. So that would be seven. So that should be 70 now, I think. I think I've done the math right there. So I don't know I if mean, I should trust just... Trust your judgment, I, I have no idea. I, so this is weird, because the pity's in kind of the middle of this. Should I 10 pull, if this is to 80, should I 10 pull to 80 and then start single pulling? Sure. I mean, the worst thing that happens is you accidentally pull two. Yeah, I mean, the nice thing is I could just go 10 and go 90. Oh. I, well, on, see, once again, the counting doesn't to. matter. Stop counting. You just let these ones roll. We can, we can see what you get. Yeah, we'll go one by one. Could be multiple. I don't know. I got two Eulas. It's possible. I could use a good pole arm. My pole arms suck. Pole arms are really good. Pole arms debate are very club. hard to come by. Debate club, baby. I do have a level oh, ninety debate club. Really? The knights did, be. do they? There she is. And a bow. And, an, uh, and, <laughs> and, and another debate club. debate club. Ah, love those debate clubs. <laughs> Yay. Now, Jason has some pulling to do as well because he's like a Kakomi main now. That's and he has Raiden on his team. So he's got some weapons to pull for because he could potentially help both. Um, but before we do that, I might as well finish building her out because she's been ready to go for a while. That's not bad. Whether that, I'll, I'll check afterwards to see whether that was 60 or 70. Um... You, you hit this off pretty, pretty, like, I think, kind of early. Like, it wasn't, I think, lucky, but I don't feel unlucky either. I mean, I, got, I had to do this 50-50, so, I, like, it couldn't be that lucky, but it's not bad. Yeah. I can't complain. All right, I'm going to leave this world because I was here just for the, the view, but I want her to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please, God. So I'm going to go stop. just literally anywhere. Let's go back to Inazuma since we just pulled Raiden. <laughs> And I don't even care to leave the middle of the city. That's fine. Just anywhere that's not the co-op world, please. <laughs> okay. Aristocratic etiquette. Yes. <laughs> Just smile and wave. No! I will not smile and wave! <laughs> All right. Let's go. Well, you know, while we're here, since we have the time. So when you do pull multiple characters, if you're new to this, you end up getting these type of things and unlock constellations, which are abilities... You can really get more powerful over the course of them, which is why it's hard for five stars, and why the people who have C6 five stars are fucking whales to the max. Yeah. That... Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, respect, if, if, if that's what you want to put your money into, I'm not even trying to, like, throw shade, You're but in. no thank you. You're at five. Yeah. Uh, I want to say this. her C6 is actually really good. Yeah, the electro damage of characters who... Yeah, if I was going to go for an electro team, which I have they, the basis they for. Also, yeah, they also get the crit damage bonus by 60%. Like, that's extremely good. Because I could run four electrics. My Beidou is not phenomenal, but she's like in the 60s, I think, and she's around. I don't really use her, but I could if I want to take a four electric team for funsies. 
But the main reason we're here is not you. Yeah. And not you. And not you. And oh god, where did she go? There she is. <laughs> she doesn't have an exclamation point for some reason, even though she's a new character. I guess she's only in the character select as an exclamation point. There she is. Yeah. Can I get these away without selecting them? Probably not until I go take care of the constellations. Whatever, I'll deal with the alert. So I can basically just steal everything from Fischl. I have this entire set. You can see on the right-hand side. Again, if you're new, don't worry a ton about everything on the screen. It's information overload. But she basically has the ability to scale off of her energy recharge. And I have, for example, this item that not only is part of her set that gives energy recharge, but gives it individually as well. So she should be pretty damn strong right out of the gate. I'm going to have to retool my official after this, but whatever. We're not using her today. I also have the option, and I'll show you when I'm done, but I actually have five pieces of this set that I have set up. So if I find that this is just overkill on energy recharge, I can always retool this part of it and still have the set of four. We'll see how that all goes. Um, I also need to give her a weapon, and my choices suck. <laughs> but I do have something that gives energy recharge. It's a four-star. So it's going to have to do for now. And I am going to be using her elemental skill primarily. So and if she ever stays out after it. Because everything else I have... I mean, I have... Oh, I have two of these now from pulling. I say, Favonius Lances are not bad. You did get some. I guess this would technically be a better fit for her just to help with the whole getting ults faster thing. Um, I So here's the thing, though. the, the that, that ability, the having to crit, isn't going to... Unless you keep her on the field... That doesn't do you. Yeah, that's true. Which I may do some. I mean, I'm going to have Eula out primarily, but my scenario is probably going to be riding out second and Jean only out when I need to heal. Or if I'm in bad shape and I need somebody with defense. But All right, so now we should be able to look at her attributes. 240% energy recharge. Jesus. Really good crit <laughs> damage and terrible crit rate. And you haven't leveled her up? What? What no, I have not. Uh, so that's going to be higher. That's right. I can do that as well. I have all the materials for it. I have really planned ahead for this. So uh, we can just do... Let's see. These do not refund like the weapon ones do. So let's go there. Because doesn't she get an energy recharge when she levels? Isn't that her stat? from my I think so, yeah. We'll see. I thought it was. Uh, you see it when you ascend. Ah, you're right. Yep. Yeah. Good call. There it is. Yeah. Nothing from yeah. this level, but she's gonna. And she'll get more talents, which we'll look at in a minute, because I can also level those up. But, you know, we're just gonna take this one by one because I've been saving forever, and I don't care if people are bored. Watch the damn video. <laughs> I don't know what your lines are. I'll listen to them later. I can't hear you anyways. <laughs> exactly. Now, I don't know if I have quite enough books to do this all the way to 90. We're gonna see. <laughs> I might. I, I, you are probably gonna be short. I think I'm gonna be short for the last trip. I think I can get to 80. So we can do, let's see, 18. So now that's too much. And then we'll do these. Ah, oh, wasted XP. And I'll get an acquaint faint too. Ooh. Mm hmm. Time to roll on that and get a gene. There goes the energy recharge, 8%. At the intermediate stage. You and I both know I'm going to get a whatever her name is. I've, I've made the joke a hundred times, but. Chi Chi? Yeah. Chi Chi. Is it Chi Chi? Ice, yeah, the, ice little zombie girl. Yeah. Little zombie yeah. girl. Yeah. Who's, She's the who's, one. Whose voice I will not tolerate. I hate it. For any so reason. <laughs> but don't you want some cocoa milk? God. <laughs> okay, great. It's so bad. Another 8%. So I don't know. If, I, I haven't really looked into see like how much is too much, but we're going to find out from trial and error. Not today. We won't worry about that. That's kind of boring, but... I will be I, doing it. I think you're there. Um, for some reason, like 250 stands out in my head, and I uh, want to let I want to let everyone know if you're watching this video. Don't take that as fact. I, I don't know. <laughs> There's no research there. <laughs> no research. That's not been peer reviewed. Absolutely not. There are a million videos out there that will tell you the exact number. Uh, you should go look at those videos. <laughs> no. That level didn't give any. That's interesting. Maybe the ones that give talents don't. Talents I don't, know. don't do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that might be it. Don't know. Never looked into it. Why am I hitting the button a lot when I can hold it? Great. Well. Don't know if we're going to make I think we'll make it to 80. It's going to be close. 
I have the things to level her to 90, but I may need to get some books. So eight more percent there, 263. All right, goodbye, all these books. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I think, we, well, I think we get there. Oh, just, mm -hmm. just, yeah. Had a feeling. Which is fine for now. Now, again, like, I can just ascend her right away just because I can't level her doesn't matter because there it is. Mm -hmm. Eight more percent. Okay, so now we see she has 21,000 health. Feels nice. I also have a pretty good grip of Elemental Mastery, which is going to be good for the setup we're running her with. At least that's the hope. And then her talents. I think I can just kind of mash my way through these. I don't remember the math on this. I don't have quite enough to make all of them level 10, but I have enough to make this level 10, which is why she's here. Well, so, and, okay, so realistically, you should definitely do her at normal attacks absolutely last, I would say, because unless you want her to be your, like... I she's not going to be my main. Open or, yeah. yeah, because not only is that I the most useful all the time, but when you do have her on the field, it's going to be during her ult. So, yeah. No, I mean, that's going to be the priority for sure, but I have close to a full amount of all of these. So this is not going to be the most scintillating gameplay as I mash my way through, but it's fine. <laughs> This is the payoff of weeks of grinding, and I intend to make the most of it. As you should. We'll show her off later. I intend to use her today, because what the hell is the point otherwise? So I'm going to take this up to at least 8 or 9 and then see where I'm at. Because the only thing I don't have enough of is the 4-star um, book. The light book. So mm -hmm. I think I can take this all the way to 10 without any difficulty. 52. Little, it'll cost you a crown to do it. Ah, well, we can work on that. I thought I had enough of those. Maybe I miscounted. Well, anyways, let's work on this one. Because it's not going to overlap anymore. We know the other two were already set. And I don't really need to be putting much into this, but I intend to use her out in front a little bit. So why the hell not? I have the materials. So we're going to run into the same problem. Yeah, okay. That means I can focus down this one for the ult, though, and then... Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's everything for her. We need to put her on the team. Yeah, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta run around. You gotta show some people what's going on here. So official, yeah. I'm sorry, but... Um, the campaign begins. The grown-ups are here. I have no children on this team and never will. <laughs> so anyways... <laughs> there she be. All right, I gotta find some random enemies. Twitch gliding outside the city is probably not the best choice. Let's go out in the middle of nowhere somewhere. Let's see. I know there are enemies over here. No. No, wrong. Because <laughs> I usually come over here and get stuff from this spot, but instead I'm going to get murder. First I want to attack this tree. Why not? You got to get those lavender moons for all that cooking that I don't actually... Should... Do any recipes so... use lavender moons? <laughs> so those of you that are wondering what she's doing... That ability there will put a little eyeball above the character's head, and you can swap between different characters. Um, so, like, if Chris wanted to not be the Raiden Shogun right now, um, he could, and that eyeball would be there. And every time that you what? deal damage to somebody, like you attack them, it does that little slash of, of lightning. Um, so it adds mm -hmm. electrical attacks, basically, to everyone else's attacks. So you could Which do can... some, like, fun elemental reactions then in theory right so uh what is really useful uh is if uh so you put the eyeball above your head and then you swap over to say eula see. Chris mm -hmm. says eula. and then uh if chris uses eula's elemental skill which is ice uh when ice and uh lightning proc um they uh they're a specific thing which i wish i could remember the name of it. super conduct yes. super conduct yes. uh, lowers physical defense um that is also so a good thing for eula because she physical attacks a lot too it, she does because all of her damage is physical i mean you know she's ice but because she's physical Fake for mercy. Yes, because that superconduct now basically that's basically just a soft damage buff for Eula now for all of the attacks, and it's just automatic now because mm. you've got that electro just waiting to get procked every time you apply ice, um, which is super handy. To, uh, like it just it's ease of use. 
All right. I'm uh, satisfied for now. Jump. Yes, she can also jump. She can jump. She can jump in the water. I don't know. Uh, now she's drowning. Works. For like Deluke, for example, uh, when that's up and uh, Deluke does his little flamey thing, it'll automatically proc uh, a little explosion overload. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it'll just knock enemies back. Um, it's like electro charged for hydro attacks. Yep. Yeah. If I ever had a hydro user, that could definitely be a thing. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of the benefit of this is that it actually kind of pairs well with him too, which is why he's going to stick around if I don't get stuck on this invisible plant. <laughs> well, you saw it hit once with the overload, and hell, it even works with Gene, which is not going to be a thing a ton, but you know, it might matter. Yeah. Um, and uh, if anyone's wondering what that circle is, uh, basically, as you like spend energy on ultimates and you know other things like that, that fills up. And then that, when it's all the way charged, boosts uh, Raiden Shogun's damage when she does the I pull the sword out of my chest. Uh, <laughs> As one does. When As she goes does. Uh, um, Revolutionary Girl Utena <laughs> on us. <laughs> I did make a bunch of wishes, yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just Great. a couple. Okay. Uh, I think I can close this out for the time being because we can put Jason on the screen. Jason! And root for his polls. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm wishing you all the luck. So you're going to have to share yours again, and I will go get that. And then if we do this... Oh, my stream is still running. Hold on. I'll fix that. Um, stop. Stop watching, stop watching you. Yeah. Oh, you can see us in Discord now. Oh. We've been exposed oh, on stream. God, oh, no, my God. No. no, not like this. I'm going to get swatted any time now. I just know it. No. Uh, okay, watch stream. Great. All right, we now we can you, see Jason. it. It's just kind of picture oh in picture for the God. viewers on stream right now because that's the way it is. But I can make that a little bigger yet. Yeah. doesn't need to be the full screen, though, because it's only 720 and 30 frames per second through Discord. So it's kind of gross looking, but this is a good size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is acceptable. So, just so we know, uh, we're here. We're here. We got some, some moon glow going back there. We're at, our, we're at our little Watatsumi Island. We have a fish. It boops my nose. There we go. <laughs> I mean, this is Super where we cute. should be for This her. is where we should be for her, yes. 1,000%. So, obviously, I already have Kokomi. I'm hoping to get C1 just because I want to be able to shoot two fish when I do my third uh, attack animation. And it does, like, 30% of her HP is damage, uh, which is a lot. Mm -hmm. She might look like a fragile little girl, but she is obscenely tanky uh, <laughs> because you just stack HP items on her. <laughs> she's tanky uh, and not even that bad at damage. After all. Uh, yeah, she's so she is uh, not not bad at damage. Uh, she is not exactly the best at damage unless you invest in her. And even then, she would be beaten if I wanted to do more damage. I could invest in like Raiden, and it probably would do more. Uh, but Raiden's not going to have healing and tankiness the same way Kokomi is. She's a bit of a jack of all trades, I guess you could say, uh, for people who are wondering why. Because if you look around, there are many people who will say that Kokomi is garbage, and they are entitled to their opinion. That's fine. They can, Except they can that they're that. wrong! <laughs> well, this is a game that does favor crit, you know, crits and huge damage numbers, and uh, she basically cannot crit. Uh, so there's, you know... I understand why some people are not for that. Mm. Uh, it was such a dumb debate, though. And look, I can say that now with the benefit of hindsight. But like, okay, she doesn't have a high crit rate. She's a healer. Yeah. Right. So the fact that and she can still do decent damage and is this tanky and helps with synergy so much, like, who cares about her damage numbers? You have a million other DPSs for that. Yeah. Well, in in, in all fairness, her artifact set didn't exist, which is this one here. Where. Uh, yeah. True. So you summon it, and then every amount that you heal creates this little bubble, and then the bubble will pop and do physical damage, which covers some of her weaknesses, which would be normally these little fishes she shoots only do hydro damage. So if you're fighting enemies that are immune to hydro, then... Oh, the sun's coming up. Um, if you fight enemies that are immune to hydro, she basically could do nothing to them. Um, but with the bubble, you kind of get around that. Um, yeah. So there are... Without that artifact, I can understand why some people would be like... All she does is heal, and she overheals. There's no reason for that. Whereas this artifact set specifically just tallies up your overhealing and then turns it into damage. So there's there's some, you know. They didn't have all the facts. I understand. It's okay. People yeah. think you're wrong. <laughs> okay. 
Anyway, I'm going back to wishes. Uh, we're going to go here. And I think I'm just going to... What am I at? 37? No. 30, yeah, I think I'm at 37 right now. So I'm just going to pull, like, four times probably and just say whatever. Um, and we'll see what we, see what we get. Uh, end goal is to get C1 for Kokomi. <clears throat> and then get the worst of the two weapons on this banner, uh, which is this one, <laughs> the Everlasting Moon Glow for her. Um... The uh, the weapon banner, as a general rule, is hot garbage. You should not do it, ever. Hmm. Uh, don't yeah. make the mistake I'm making right now. Uh, <laughs> you haven't is... even made it yet. <laughs> I haven't even made this mistake. I can turn off this path right now, um, but I'm not. Um, <laughs> in this case, because I have both Raiden and I am actually aiming for the worst of the two weapons here, there's basically no downside for me. But otherwise, trying to aim for a particular weapon, unlike the character banners... Whereas you guys saw with Chris, if he pulls the 50-50 and loses, the next is a guaranteed of the one in the banner. That is not the case with these at all. Uh, you basically have to miss it twice to earn the little things. This is a zero out of two, these things here, uh, to earn the fate points. And then on the third time you pull it, then you can like get the weapon. Oh, um, and now, these are 80 pulls and not 90 pulls. That doesn't make correct. it a ton better, but it means that absolute worst, and this is just a help for the people who haven't played this before, if you're whaling... You can get your character guaranteed in 180 pulls, which is a ton. It's 240 to get your weapon, yep. though, so it can be even yep. worse. Yeah, it can be even worse. And, and yeah, it's just and because there's... Uh, and all those weapons on, like, the right side... Like, you could pull a weapon that's not even, like, on here. I, I do believe there are other five stars in the in the loop here. No, okay, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Okay, but still... <laughs> There's there's all kinds of stuff. It's not it's not good. It's not good. You shouldn't do it. I'm going to. You can watch Bad choices this train are being made. You can yeah. watch this train wreck happen. Uh, yeah, this is and there are people that do this. Either those who have just a ton of money and they get viewership based on the fact that they wail because people like to watch them do it. Mm -hmm. I get it. You know, we thought it would be kind of fun to dabble with it ourselves, but the difference is I'm going to do this once and then maybe six months from now have the ammo to do it again. Yeah. Um. So I'm going to pull. Uh, I have. A, a sizable amount of crystals that I basically just have sitting around that if I have to use, I will. And if not, I'll save them for characters months down the road. Um, I tend to turn my stuff into wishes. So I have 131. I know how many I have sitting around. Uh, but I also have more if I need to uh, <laughs> convert stuff over. But we have got some glitter. Them. There's lots of options. Yes. Yep. It's true. Okay. Well, let's just wish. We'll do a 10 pull. Okay, GLHF. 48. What do we get? Okay. Well, dude, I'm going to hit C6 Benny. There's almost no way I don't. <laughs> there are people that want to ship him in Amber, and I'm like, no, Amber's with Eula. Yeah, Amber's with Eula, yeah. and I accept nothing else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see what that puts you at 47. Let's go to. Everybody can ship who they want, but, you know, I'm just saying that's, in my head, that's the way it works. Uh, oh, you can also my... be wrong. I'm also. Uh, that's true. Also the. What is this? Item details? No, no. Check. Here we go. Uh, in case it is unfortunate, she was on. Uh, I can't show you. God damn it. Uh, I got five things from her. Uh, I'm pretty sure she is C6 on my account because she was on the Eula banner when I pulled for that ages ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's like one extra wish, technically, uh, for that. This was at 40, 57. Sorry, the dog is, is like shaking behind me and hitting the chair. So if you heard that, everything is fine. She's trying to sleep and you're in the way. <laughs> I'm okay. sorry, Siri. Uh, I think that's. I think that might be C6 Bennett. Uh, oh God, what was that? Am I at, am I at the point? Uh, I think God, that was 67, God. based on what you were saying before. Okay. But I don't. I so I should. Good. I'll just temple one more time here. And then, and then solo. And then yeah. solo. Solo dolo. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh More god. Benny. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. There's no. I was three Bennies. There's no way I wasn't already like C three on Benny. Oh god. You got a Zinian too. <sighs> yeah, it's true. Uh, so okay. Well, at least you could just not activate the thing. That's at least the one benefit, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, at least it doesn't like automatically Auto -turn trigger on. or something. Yeah. yeah, that'd be awful. Oh, oh, oh. oh let's see. Oh, don't be cheat cheat. Oh, fuck. oh. There, it is. there 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 it
Batman's everyone. It's Batman. It's Batman. It's Batman. It's Batman everyone. Okay. Just in go. time. Just in time for Batman. Right. Okay. Thank God, Robert Pattinson is here to save the day. <laughs> well, Twilight. we have at least enough to in just my wishes so far to get my C1. But let's see how long it takes. Uh, you have a perfect 90. Exactly. Oops. <laughs> oh my God. These are just, these are just wishes. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> So I, I want to give them credit for at least giving you something in those situations, but even that's kind of a loss because you're giving up a guaranteed four star from a ten pull to get a regular pull. If that makes sense, like, uh, yeah, it's still kind of a loss. It's better than nothing, but it's still kind of an L. Oh, okay, okay, finally, like it's like C two Kujo Sara or something. It's better than Jinyan or whatever her name is. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't think I have this. It says new. No. Okay. So was that? That was three, I think. Yeah, four. That was four. Four. Because you have sixty left, and I think we had to clean a hundred at the start. Yeah. Fifty right, plus right. ten. I mean, you know what I mean. Because <laughs> it was ninety and ten, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you're counting in the extras. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. You'll have so, so many three-star weapons to oh merge into God. your other weapons. There you go. Yay. <laughs> there it is, everyone. My God. Oh, my God. <laughs> so many rock shows. So, see, okay. if, you're coming, if you're coming into this and you're new and you're like, oh, well, they're getting what they want, it's like, yeah, only because we planned for the worst-case scenario, not because we're relying on luck, because these are the dry stretches. He has pulled six times and gotten basically shit. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Absolute garbage. So I now need to, because I'm at 70, right? Yeah. Well, I yep. think you're at 60. Because you yes. started with 90 yep. fates yep. and 10. Jason, Jason can't do math. What is I math? Think. I think. Uh, see, and I actually got two four stars here. One of them is the book. Uh, the book ain't bad. You know. I did get that triple four star in mine, so whoa, I'm the luckiest man alive. Okay, so that's 70. So now we need to probably just single pull here. Yeah, well, I mean, plus... In this spot, especially, you don't really care about the four stars, anyways. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you were looking to get one of those still to C6 or something, then maybe you'd pull 10 just to get the guarantee. But unless you want to see Zinya and smiling face 100 more times. <laughs> Which oh we don't. God. Don't want to see her face. Too. Don't want to hear her talk. Keep her far away from me. <laughs> I'm amused by her gameplay. I actually did use her on my second account for a while until I had a better fire person. But I didn't. I turned down the voices because I hated Paimon, so I've never actually really heard her voice and how bad it is until later. And I was like, "Oh Christ!" It's not good. It's not good. Oh God! <laughs> it's it's rough. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. It was terrible. <laughs> so at some point, I gotta get at least a four star. No. No. You're guaranteed, you are guaranteed a four star every ten, so at some point here. Unless you're Jason. And unless, unless you're Jason. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mm. oh there my he god, is. it's yet another Bennett's. <sighs> that means we have now hit C six, everybody. That's, uh, Turn it on. <laughs> oh my god. Turn it I on. Honestly, coward. I honestly might just like for like a fire team or something, like for like a Yenfei or something like that. I don't really use him in my other teams, so... Yeah. I mean, there's just something to be said for Bennett as this beacon of misfortune showing up every time you get fucked in this pool. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, and I and I went into this knowing that the four stars on this banner are not not good for Kokomi. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Oh. Oh, finally. And it's Diluc! <laughs> Yay! There she be. What is her C1? Uh, second fish, you were saying, right? <laughs> oh, that's right. Second, you did mention this earlier. Fish. I'm so sorry. Second Dumb question fish. on my part. Okay. So, here we go. so donning the ceremonial guard. So when she does her ult, basically, then the when she does the third, the final attack, the third attack, it does 30% of HP, um, which is good. Which is what, like 14, 15k? Something like that. What's her HP? Thirty-three thousand. Thirty-three thousand. So eleven k. Yeah. Yeah. 
uh, I can't show off her ultimate because uh, you I used it earlier. I used it. Uh, used it earlier. I was running around on the water. That's all right. You but, can get her new weapon and then show it off. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> now Jason's right about the weapon thing. That's kind of common knowledge that if you're going to pull for anything, it should probably be characters you like, unless you're an absolute whale and money is no object. However. The one benefit for him, especially right now, is that both these weapons are really good. Yes. For both of characters that are on his team, like well, full, some full people stop. will argue that the one for Kokomi is not good. Uh, that there are other ones that are competitive with it that are easier to get. If you're using her to buff people instead of deal damage, you shouldn't get it. Those are all very fair and valid arguments. But the drip on this weapon, plus the fact that it is technically better, even if only <laughs> marginally, uh, is why I'm aiming. But it is the lesser of the two items on this. So even if I lose and, you know, quote unquote, lose and get the engulfing lightning uh, for, for Raiden, that's her best in slot. Um, so that's just that's just good. It, so uh, it's a win either way. Yeah, because yeah. generally the five star weapon that's for each character is their best in slot. There's only a couple exceptions. However, these two in particular are just built directly into what they do as their core sets. Like it's a yeah. you know for Kokomi it's about scaling HP and healing and all that tied together, and for Raiden it's about energy recharge and all that. So like these are really good for both characters that he he mains at this point. Yeah. Uh, let's, what happens if I try to pull more than I have? Uh, yeah. There we go. Boom. Wait, what happened? I guess I know. Thank you. It didn't work. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we didn't get a first pull. Expected. Yeah. It would have been something, though. We could have documented it. Somehow, as Jin Yen shows up. <laughs> I have no idea what this does. It looks well, you know, cool. It does look cool. Looks like a samurai sword. It I like it. Like Knowing my luck, it'd, it'd be like totally useless, but well, now <laughs> I'm I have two of them. Yeah, oh, you, wow. You can now, talent that up. Yeah. What, what are is these? Is it a claymore? Yeah. It oh. is a claymore. Oh, damn. Every okay. point of the entire party is combined to maximum energy capacity. So if they have large ultimates, the elemental burst damage of the character clip that this weapon is increased a maximum. Huh. I mean, hmm. that actually sounds like a half decent Eula one. So you put Raiden in, you put Yaimiko in, because they're the two 90 energy ults, right? Yeah. And then, yeah. like, I think even Kokomi's 80. Yeah, I think uh, she's next step down with a bunch of other folks. Jean's down there, I think, in 80. Who yeah, you have? I, yeah. And then I think Eula. Is Eula 80 or 70? I think she's 80 just because it's so much burst damage. So, I mean, you could reach this on a Eula. Uh, I don't know why you'd ever want to use this because it's. Oh no! Wait, it's it's just pure claymore attack. Yeah, it's got attack up and base attack, so it's gonna hit pretty hard. Okay. 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 Interesting. Interesting. I don't know who I would use that on. You know and I think Yula's have. weapon, like her specific weapon, is good for her, but I don't think it's phenomenal. So that could be a decent replacement. I mean, I've got the uh, Snow Tomb Star Silver or whatever the heck it is, and I like that one, but I'm not sure because it's just pure physical damage. Right. I'd have I'd have to look at the math on that one. Okay. What do we got here? Uh, I would like, yes, yes. Okay, see, then it, like, doesn't do anything, but then it works anyway. It gave you the <clears throat> gems, not the actual, oh, like... Yeah, so you're sitting I with 1600 up there. See. Yeah. Did you one pull? Dude, I did. Yes. <laughs> that, that is a thing that happened. Okay, look, everybody, look, I got a blood-tainted, uh, <laughs> right Very nice. I got so used to pressing the X button. Okay, let's actually do a 10 pull. But now you're going to do this again. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Remember, everyone, life is suffering. It's true. Oh, no, no, skip, skip, skip. Okay. So that's 21. <laughs> it's 21. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Blackjack. This is the wood Sith, right? No, it's not conventional fragments. Ah, oh, it's that version. Oh, of, that's, that's, yeah. that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not terrible. A not decent terrible. skill. Especially for characters that can make the most use of it, whether that they have like huge cooldowns on their elemental skills. Yep. Like Noel. But she can't use a book. But there's a sword that does the same thing. What do we got here? Oh, not it. But what do we get? Another one of ah. those. Okay. Oh, and uh. But that's what nice. is that? A lion's roar. Mm. And pyro and electro. This is like a kaching weapon. 
Oh, yeah. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> if only. God, if I wish only. we could trade stuff. Oh. I know that would be exploited that would be so, so much, nice. but that would be so nice anyway. There's definitely a reason that they do not allow that. <laughs> <laughs> Is the reason money? <laughs> what? <gasps> yes, that can't possibly be true. Interesting. They would never. Wait, you can actually get characters on that. I guess so. I mean, wow. I pulled on the on the banner, yeah. <laughs> See, I've never, I've, I don't think I've ever pulled on a weapon banner. If I did, it was once in the very beginning when I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So I've never seen that. Hold on, is that possible? Did I like? Did I mess that up? Did I pull from something I wasn't supposed to? Um, four stars. No, there no, no. there's some people on here. You can still get. Oh, there's some other ones in there too. It's not just the ones oh, from the other banner. Okay. Well. Right. I honestly, I think the sucrose is a good pull for me, so that's that's fine. I, An I unexpected like one for sure. <laughs> a surprise to be sure. Yeah. But a You're not a weapon, or is she? <laughs> it's true. It is true. And what we got? Nothing. I think this is 51. I lost track again. And yeah. Ooh, What's that bow looks neat. Moon's moon. Moon's moon. Moon's moon. moon. <laughs> It's fucking every point of the entire it's another entire oh point it's another combined. one of those they're definitely like hey why don't you stack these two characters on the banners in a party and build tons of stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. honestly wouldn't this be like a half if you if you put like uh akujo sara in a raiden and something else i don't actually know if that'd be good it'd be probably good on official though well the trick is you need somebody who needs the attack so if there's anybody in a support role it's less useful oh that's true it's so like yeah, Eula, because she'd be in the front more often, would be decent for that, for the sword side, but... So, wait, what do we have for this one? Oh, God. I, I think we know. just said 51, but I'm not positive about that, because we're none of us are counting. <laughs> <laughs> we're all focused on, like, entertaining or some shit. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We'll just do another 10 pull. It can't be more than 61. So, yeah, I think another 10 is safe. Okay. okay. Favonia Spear, always good. Oh, the problem is I can't check the tape without stopping the recording, so I don't. That's fine. I don't know. We'll like do some single pulls. So it's always... right. It seems like a good thing to do. I think that's sixty-one. So I've got like twenty more. Well, I guess okay, the I question I, is: there a scaling know. point for this one as there is with the there character is, one? There is, but I'm not. I'm not actually sure where it is. So that's mm. that's the real. That's the real. So, I mean, single pulls probably can't hurt at this point. I don't think it's 51, and I don't think it's 71. It's not the most exciting, but you know, when it hits, then you get that copium. Exactly. <laughs> We're all rooting for a debate club anyway. <laughs> Who doesn't love it? So what are you rooting for here, by the way? Everlasting Moonglow, I suppose? I, here's the thing. I, I would take both. I would gladly take both. Okay. Uh, is there one that if you get it first, you're not going to pull on this anymore? Or are you kind of committed to going at least two times through this? Or like, where are you at? I'm probably, once I get the Everlasting Moon Glow, I'm probably just going to stop because saving up is just more characters down the road. Yeah. Um, but like, I suppose ideally getting an Engulfing Lightning, then an Everlasting Moon Glow would just be choice uh, because then I just, you know, I just know, you know? I don't know if that makes sense. I got you. Have a regular ass bow. Because <laughs> the it problem has... is, if I get my everlasting moon glow first, uh, there's no way of knowing if I would even get an engulfing lightning, like whenever. Yeah. Like, it's, it's so I would want to get that first because then at least at some point the everlasting moon glow is guaranteed. Because if you hit the lightning, then the moon glow could be the max 240. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh, what is oh, this? It. It's... Oh my god! <laughs> the best case scenario. Show it off. It's going to have a thing that's going to sound very familiar to the other skills that we saw. Oh, it's gone. Oh. That's fine. We'll do it later. Okay. Because okay. you're going to equip well, it, obviously. I am. Oh, absolutely. So now we are just straight pulling. That's what we're doing here. Uh, just 10 up. Okay. Why didn't they make Prima Gem plural? That's a question from another <laughs> Hello, hi, I'm raising my hand. Editor here, just a quick question. Um, <laughs> and what everyone wanted, two debate clubs. Hey. I mean... Blessed. Yes. That must the guarantee series. the moon glow now. 
Uh, yes, exactly. I'm going to say it every time, even though it's boring. That's 10. This is 20. Mm -hmm. No, it's good that you're keeping count because I'm certainly. Ooh. Oh, I mean, that's, oh, that's, that's just more you. wishes okay. for me. It's more wishes. That's yeah. not bad. Oh. Yar, it'd be the captain. I like. I love Edo. Well, she also has a great voice actress. Problem is, I don't really love playing as her, so she's kind of floating around my teams, but never really in them. Is that? Do I have that now at rarity five? Is that uh, or, uh, four or five? Yeah. Yeah, it's getting up there yeah. now. What is that, 30? I, I said I was going to keep track, and I didn't. I think that's 30. <laughs> I think that yeah. was 30. Yes. Pretty sure it's 30. This is like the middle of the day for me, so it's tough, because I want to take a nap. <laughs> razor! Oh, razor. my yeah. God! What is this? <laughs> He's a we I mean, a razor is a weapon. That's true. That is true. It is. 40. It's 40. Sacrificial, two debate clubs, always mm. consigned. Blessed. Yes. Oh, another beta. <laughs> oh, another sacrificial. Okay. okay. Oh, and another. Oh, a triple four star. Oh, and a debate star. club. And a debate club. <laughs> Something boy. for everyone. We're wow. using we're using up all my luck right there. That's what we're doing. <laughs> That's debatable. Okay. Oh, okay. oh my god. Okay. And a four star, I thought, too. All right, one at a time. <laughs> Boring. Okay. Pagoni's warp on my bed. Okay. The downside is this five star isn't. Oh, there it is. Oh, Beautiful. yeah. Beautiful. Very nice. Oh. And another oh, one of those swords. Another one of these swords. And okay. a harmonious lance. Okay. Okay. It, was just, it was a blessed run. We were right. And oh. a Barbara. <laughs> so a five star and four four stars. That's a surprisingly good poll. You know what? Let's all just take a moment and thank the debate club. And thank the yes. debate club. Who sacrificed himself to not be in this particular run. <laughs> I mean, we had seen enough of him. He knew that this was his time to just let the moment shine and step back. Mm -hmm. Barbara, the only other character that could use this weapon was like, oh, you got one? I'd like to come along. <laughs> <right here." laughs> you're like, ooh, awkward. Ooh, um, um, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, this is for you, Barbara. You have a Hydro Healer Catalyst user who's blonde. Okay. Yes, well, and has you know... a better voice and better everything. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> sorry. And, her, and her, her outfit looks like it comes from space, so that's important. Yes. Okay. Well, this 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 weapon's gonna be garbage because it's not level at all, you know. But, but it's pretty. But it, it is, is so pretty. pretty. It fits her aesthetic very nicely. Really, both of them. Their five star weapons are very fitting. There we go. A little. You gotta show off what the stats are too, though. I mean, the looks are important, but like the the fit in her kit is also good. Uh... Or maybe I'm just a numbers nerd. I don't know. <laughs> There you go. So it's it's a healing bonus, just boom, which again uh, packs into physical damage for her when you've got the artifact set on, and then increases her normal attacks um, by just again HP, which she's got, which is like three hundred and seventy um, per attack. Mm -hmm. And then for uh, twelve seconds, which is uh, if we uh, look at our good friend uh, Jellyfish over here, he lasts twelve seconds. Hmm. <sighs> Surprise! Ah. Uh, for 12 seconds after using an elemental burst, um, uh, normal attacks hit and restore energy. Now, that's not a huge amount of energy. Uh, and I guess I should have pointed out that it's her elemental burst, which lasts 10 seconds. But the reason that 12 second number matters is it has to do with there's a rotation involved where you drop this guy out and every two seconds he he goes and he does that so him lasting 12 seconds is good because that last final two seconds between the 10 and the two is when you want to be rotating into your 10 second duration burst attack um, because when you do her burst it refreshes the jellyfish so you put the jellyfish down wait 10 seconds and then in the in between between the 10 and the 12 you activate her burst which refreshes it for an additional 10 seconds. Or 12, I should say. But anyway. It's sort of a thing where you can have 100% uptime on Jellyfish, which is good because that's healing and damage and even more damage because her artifact set keeps saving up the healing for all characters. So like, if I put this down and I'm like, oh, hello, I'm Raiden now. 
I still get a bubble. Who needs to have her weapon? It's true. Here, take this garbage. So you can see there, same thing her oh. general kit does. Well, you could have seen there, now it's too late. We'll we never see it again. But the same it. idea. Her <laughs> attack goes up based on her energy recharge over 100%. So, you know. Now, you can only get a maximum of 80% from that. So that's where there is a cap that we're going to have to feel our way through. Both of us now as we kind of navigate our new kitted out Rydens. But, and then she also just gets even more energy recharge after using a burst. Which she's going to do frequently as she rotates through. So, like... All of it fits, and again, the secondary stat on it is energy recharge. All of it just really fits with what she does. Meanwhile, and then, of course, that's only you know the attack's going to go up on it, and the energy recharge because it's only level one. When do they? Oh, I hit ten for all. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Aww. Friendship level ten. Cute. Look at that, everybody. I can't believe Let's you've go. done this. We'll go up here. And do how do I do this? There you go. You're gonna make the name card. I guess that's appropriate, there seeing you that she's go. your main now. There, where is it? There it is. <laughs> oh, I'm looking. Oh, that. it's pretty cute. It's so pretty. I gotta start that. in the middle of this particle effect, so it's just like, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> All right, now you gotta level up that weapon at least on Kakomi, so that she's raring to go when we team up here momentarily. God, we will try. We will try. Yeah, let's see what you have. Okay, enhance. <laughs> Man. Yeah, what's, what's, we want to go pull yeah, five more of those and refine it? More, let's pull more of those. <laughs> and, like, it's it's useful, no question, but it's like, good lord, the prospects of that. Like, oh, yeah. there's whales, and then there's idiots. Yeah, <laughs> the people that are like, you all have, like, a rarity five, uh, you know, a re refinement five, uh, you know, one of these five-star weapons. It's just insane. Like, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're moving up in the world. Did you have HP on her weapon before? Yes. Okay. But this, but this will still be higher. Because it's a five star. Yeah. Yes. So it's still yeah. going to be an improvement. And the base attack will be better too. So here's the downside with this. I will run out of uh, dead specters. No. Oh my god. You have to hunt those again? Oh my I god. To, no. Yeah, I just, it's I, just I, I mean, life. <laughs> it, Kokomi has personally chosen violence against every specter in existence. <laughs> both to level herself up, her talents up, her weapon up. It doesn't matter. Good lord. She's a monster, truly. <laughs> An adorable one. A very Absolutely. adorable monster, yes. Now, never fear, dear viewer who might be new to this, once he clears out his inventory of the three stars, it'll go into the things that level up quickly with the gems. But it's nice to be able to clear out your inventory so you don't have 100,000 weapons. Yes, yeah, that is correct. Poor, de poor debate clubs, though. They're in here somewhere, but you have one you're keeping, right? <laughs> I think I had one. I don't know. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh. Now, now we've angered the debate club gods. Okay. Oh, my. And... You know what? You're right. What am I thinking? Yeah, go put a lock on one of those, please. <laughs> okay. I think I actually had one on... Where's Where's uh, Noelle? Noelle has a debate club. Oh, she uh -oh. did. No, she had this. Oh. Hashtag cursed. Hold on. Hold on. Uh -oh. there, there it is. Refinement 5 debate okay, club. Okay, you locked it. Thank God. Okay. Thanks. Everything's okay now. Oh, I was worried I was going to turn off the stream. I was embarrassed. <laughs> Deluc can keep the fucking great sword, though. Yeah, you got six of those swords, though, of the claymore. Oh, the other ones? Uh -huh. By the way, we saw in my debate club, my Diluc has it. So it's been uh, present and used on this entire broadcast. So this is good. That's good. You guys are covering have for it, me. It uses claymores. It's just like Razor, isn't it? And Jin Yan. Yeah, our oh, favorite Jin right. Yan. <laughs> uh, she had the sacrificial one at one point. Here, you can have this super cool... Dude, it doesn't even look right on her. You do have enough to max it now, but not this minute, because that's silly. Okay. <laughs> Brief bursts. Level 29. Not awkward at all. All right, now that we saved the debate club, we can resume our primary task. <laughs> you have a lot of weapons just Whoa. flying around. No, press buttons that are hard. Okay, and I'm these totally refund. That's not bad. Yeah, that's true. This is nice. It'll give you whatever's left over. I don't know why the experience books don't do that, but... It's fine. Okay. okay. It's it's nice. us. <laughs> I did run a couple of these little coral things, so that's good. Okay. I mean, I this is important. 
just getting it up a good amount will help. Like this is respectable now where it's at right now. Obviously, uh, the better. Uh, there, there it is. Oh no! Right. Well, how many? No, you didn't have enough of the other ones left. You had a few, but not enough to get five of those. Yeah. Well, we've hit the wall, everybody. Thanks for watching. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there it is, everyone. Who needs to kill some specters? Uh, this guy. <laughs> Never Disgusting. not. All I ever hear from you. It's true. Uh, it's, it's so true, though. Okay, <laughs> Benny, what do we got? Oh, God. Uh... I think you can buy them from, like, Paimon's shop if you're desperate. There it is. That is true. It's just disgusting. <laughs> The text doesn't say it, but what it means is ruin your other characters. Yeah, yes. gain 50% pyro damage, and their weapons are infused with pyro, a.k.a. replaced with pyro. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, look at... She six six. Beautiful sucrose. All party members gain 20% elemental damage bonus for the corresponding absorbed element during its duration. So she just adds straight elemental damage to whatever she swirls. Always good. 